Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can customize your car in different ways. So for example the color that you can pick a different color for the car or that you can customize a part of the car, example the hood here. So like this and then you can continue driving with the new customization. So let's go. So first of all we are using our level from the last tutorials and the first thing I want to create is a game instance where we can store the car over the whole game. So we go to blueprint class and type in game instance this one here and we call this for example car game instance. So the car instance open this up create a new variable this will be just the car itself and we make this a Firebird 1 object reference in my case, whatever car name is you're using, just use this one. Great. So and the second thing is we go to the project settings, maps and modes and choose our car instance on the game instant class. So now we need a trigger inside the world to customize our car. So we go right click, blueprint class, actor, and this will be our customizer. Open this up. And then we need a box collision. We call this trigger. Of course, we can make it a little bit bigger right here like that. Great. So now we go to the event graph, can delete everything here and we call just on component begin overlap. Of course we cast to our, in my case, Firebird here. And now we need a function. So open up our Firebird here and I already created a stop function, pretty easy, just new function and we from the last tutorial we set the motor on boolean to true and just set the handbrake input to true in this case of course. So what we're gonna do here in the customizer we want to call the function so just the stop function here then we get player controller from here we say show mouse cursor. So we want to set show mouse cursor to true. We want to create a widget. So I already create one. So it's user interface widget. And this is our customizer hut here. I open this up. So the graph is empty. We fill this later, but this is pretty easy. It's just a text element where we set color and hut. And these are just buttons that I choose the color that I want to use. And these are just buttons for normal and special, nothing complicated. And a button with done that we can finish our work. Great, so we go back to the customizer and we want to create this widget. So create widget. Then we choose our customizer hut here, like this one. From the customizer, we want to go from the get player controller again and say set input game and UI like this one. Then we want to the return value goes into in widget to focus and we want to uncheck the height cursor during capture. And the last part is we go from the return value again and say add to viewport. Great. So compile and save this. That's it here. So we can just place the customizer here inside the world like this one. Great. So the next part is we need um, some car parts to customize. So it's pretty easy. So let's say we have this car here. So that's just static meshes. So the left door, right door the car itself and the wheels and the steering wheel and we want to customize this car here. So later we will convert this into a drivable car. If you want to know how to do this, um, I make a tutorial about that. Link is in the description. 
Um, so, but we want to make more customizations on this car, so it's pretty easy. We have this car itself, so we go into the car here, open this up, and we want to remove parts that we want to customize. So we use our mesh editing tool. So how you get this, you go to the plugins and you just search for mesh editing. And you have the polygon editing, so you can just enable this. It's a beta tool, but it works pretty good. And when you open a static mesh like this one, so just the card itself, as you can see, you can go to mesh editing and go to the edit mode. And as you can see, we can now remove some parts. So the idea is we, let's duplicate this one like this and we call this the hood. And so we go to the original one and remove the hood here. So editing mode, we go to the smooth group and just select it and hit delete like this one and we can just save this and when we uncheck the editing mode you can see it's removed and on the other part where we duplicate it we do exact the opposite of this so we select go to the editing mode again select everything including the back face like this one and then again smooth group hit the control and uncheck the hood and now we delete the rest of it when we save this as you can see we have just the hood great so we can now customize this and this part will be exported later to make a drivable car of it so that's the system behind that. So I already did that for a couple of parts, as you can see here. So I already imported the mesh itself. As you can see, I removed the hood and we have the hood here. We have the special hood the way I just put on a wheel to <laughs> make it special. And we have some different car paints, as you can see, it's just different materials. So I take the original one and make it black and red. So the next thing is we go back to our Firebird and we need to begin play event where you want to set the car inside the game instance. So we say get game instance then we cast to our car instance, connect it. Then we want to set the car like this one. And the car, of course, is a reference to self like that. So on begin play, it will set in the title game instance our car. And this will be safe for the whole game. Great. So we can close this one and go back to our customizer. So let's start with the color change. So we go to the black button on click as well as the normal and the red. Like that. Then we need the get game instance cost to our car instance right here connected then we get the car then we want to set the material for the mesh it will connect already like that and then we just go to the car itself and go to the details, hit the mesh, and we can see the color is the element one. So we go back here and the index, element index is one. And then we just 
copy and paste this for every color that we want to set. Like this one. Connect, of course, the game instance here. And then we have to just choose the colors. So normal, black and red. So I go back to my car parts. That's the normal color. So we put it right here. Then we have black. Put it right here and red right here. Great. So now we do this for the mesh changing part. So we change the hood. In this case, we had, of course, the button hood normal and hood special. So we just go to the on click event like this one. And it's pretty the same thing. We just get the game instance again cars to our game instance that we created get our car here and now we just set static mesh for the hood like this one again copy and paste this for the other situation like this one and again we go to our car parts we have the normal hood Set it to here and the special hood, set it to here. So we are quite done. The last part is we have our done button that we finished with our work. Again on click event. Here again we cast to the game instance. So get game instance, cast to it. like that get the car then of course from the car we want to set the motor on boolean again to true set the handbrake input back to false like that get player controller again from here we want to set show mouse cursor back to false set the input mode to game only and the last part is we want to remove the widgets so remove all widgets so let's see if this works. So we hit play. Drive to our trigger here. The widget shows up. We can change the color. We can change the hood here. Of course, this also works with other parts of the car. And we hit done. We can continue driving with the customized car. Great. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know and yeah, goodbye.